What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Michael, and today I'm going to tell you how to get the Shish Kebab in Fallout 4. As many of you know, the Shish Kebab has been in previous Fallout games, and it is a fire sword, so to speak. To get this famous flaming sword, you're going to want to head over to Sorgus Ironworks. And this is located on the northeast side of the map, northeast of Diamond City, southwest of Dunwich Borers, east of Vault 75, south of the Slog, and west of Hub City Auto Wreckers. On the outside and the inside, Sorgus Ironworks is going to be filled with bandits called the Forged. These forged opponents will often use fire-based weapons such as Molotov cocktails and, of course, flamers. If your character uses a flamer, this is a great place to stock up on ammunition. Coming in, you're going to want to go up the stairs on your left, follow the ramp across, go down the ramp, turn right, go up these stairs, turn right again, and up another set of stairs, and then another set of stairs again to your right. Cross this wooden bridge here, be careful not to fall off, and go up the steel ramp in front of you. Turn left, go down the stairs here, follow the ramp across again over another wooden bridge, Go up this ramp, and then go straight into this door on your right. After entering this room, you will find a big bandit leader called Slag. And he will be telling a man called Jake to kill a prisoner. You can resolve this situation, but in the end, you're going to want to fight Slag, kill him, and he will have the shish kebab on his body. You simply have the shish kebab now, it's all yours, but what you should do is talk to Jake and he'll tell you to take this to a nearby farm. This farm is called Finch Farm and you'll want to talk to a man called Abraham. Finch Farm is located directly below Sorgus Ironworks. Abraham will be very happy that you returned his sword, but he will actually let you keep it. And now you'll get to return to Preston Garvey and complete a quest to get some additional XP. This is why you simply don't leave with the shish kebab. After returning to Preston Garvey, the quest will be complete and the shish kebab will be yours. This melee weapon is great for any melee character, of course, and is probably best for early to mid-game characters or maybe just full-on mid-game characters. It's probably not the best sword for the end of the game, simply in terms of damage. However, it is a really fun sword to use and of course the damage is still very decent, especially if you upgrade it for a mid-game character. My name is Michael. This is how to get a shish kebab. You can also find them randomly. However, this is a way to get one for sure. I'll see you all soon with some more Fallout 4 guides and builds. And until then, have an awesome day.